So today we're going to be looking at the Husky. This is their 56 inch versus a Yukon 46 inch. This video was originally supposed to be a Cobalt versus Husky versus Yukon um, 46 inch, but I went to my local Home Depot and this one was the 56 inch Husky, which is also deeper, I'll show you in a minute, uh, was actually cheaper than the on sale Cobalt uh, 46 inch over at Lowe's. So I did some looking and maybe, you know, the bear over at the Den of Tools can answer this for us. The Husky and the Cobalt look exactly the same to me. A absolutely 100% exactly the same. I think they just stick a different badge on them. But uh, that might be something that we have to, you know, refer to somebody that has better knowledge. So really quick montage of uh, getting this Yukon box set up here. You'll notice I did this all by myself. It's a fairly heavy box, but it wasn't too bad, actually. The packaging's pretty easy to, to take off. Um, the bottom is, you know, disconnected once you undo the bands on it. The biggest issue I had was getting the uh, casters put on. I talk about in the video a little bit later how the steel, the, the bases of the casters are kind of small. And so it was pretty fiddly trying to get especially the fixed casters on. These nuts are, or excuse me, the um, bolts that are used are nice because they've got an Allen fitting in uh, an Allen key that you can use. They also have a regular 12 mil hex head that you can use. So you've got a couple of options of how to put them on, but uh, it was a little bit of a pain. Uh, I'm just going around tightening a few things up here. Honestly, it took me probably 20, 30 minutes to set this all up. So it wasn't too bad at all. Just putting the shelf liners in there now. So we're going to take some measurements here. Uh, we got the Husky, the Husky box over here um, on the left. We've got the Yukon box over here on the right. Again, the depth. So I ended up getting the larger Husky box. It is 24 and a half, actually, the depth on the, on the top. And the top is a full 52, exactly 52. The Yukon, the top over here, it's exactly 46. Well, 46 and an eighth. And its depth is 18 and a quarter. Again, a bigger box, same price. I had to get it, guys. Top drawer on the Husky. You're looking, it's four and three quarters depth. Top drawer on the Yukon is three and three quarters. This next bank of drawers down, you're two and three quarters depth on the Husky. Make sure these are all the same depth. Yeah, two and three quarters, two and three quarters. Those are all, all six of those drawers are the same. The Yukon, same thing, two and three quarters, two and three quarters. Yeah, a little taller on this one. This one is uh, three and a quarter. A little tiny bit taller on that. This drawer down here on the Yukon. Now the bottom drawer, to me, this is the one where you put, you know, batteries, power tools, that sort of thing. I'm getting about nine and a quarter on the Yukon. The Husky, we're a full 10 inches on that. So the Husky has bigger top drawer, bigger bottom drawer. All the middle ones are the same size. Yukon has smaller top drawers, smaller bottom drawers, and then a little bit of variation in the height on those, those middle drawers. So not a huge difference.
but there is some difference there. Overall height, I, I'm fairly tall, about 6'2", 6'3". So we're 37 and a half height on the, the Husky. And just under 37 on the Yukon. The thickness of the tops is a little bit different as well. Um, I don't have my calipers. We're going to judge our best with the measuring tape here. You're about a full inch, pretty much a full inch on the Husky there. Whereas on the Yukon, yeah, I mean, you're just shy of three quarters of an inch. I'm sure there's a little bit of error in that for milling. It's not a true inch, just shy of just shy of three quarters on this. The tops to me aren't that big a deal. This softwood's just gonna get beat up anyway. So it'll uh, it'll surf suffice for what it needs to be here. Husky was assembled already, which was kind of nice. Same price. Uh, it took me, I think about 20, 30 minutes to assemble the Yukon. The bolts, that's one thing I'll show you. So the bolts on this Yukon, actually, this is one thing I really like. I don't know if you can see, they're actually a hex. And then they've also got an Allen. So actually a good design. I used a combination of the Allen and the hex to put the casters on the Yukon. One gripe I do have, the plates on the casters are so small that you cannot get a ratchet in there directly uh, to, to do up, especially the fixed casters. So they are a bit of a pain in the butt. I think they're probably, you know, they're saving on some materials by, you know, using a little bit less steel on each. But it is what it is. I think that's kind of the... That's what we live with now is, you know, at a price point like this, you're dealing with some weird little cost cutting measures like that. You'll notice on the, um, on the Yukon here, the ball bearing sticker has already come off. It was barely attached, you know, stickers like that. I don't know. I bought the box. You don't need to advertise to me anymore. They might have them on there for if it sits in the store on the showroom floor, but uh, we'll kind of want to do a side by side for you here. So this is showing, <clears throat> I think you can see how much bigger, how much wider this 56 inch is here than the Yukon 46 inch. A couple of things to keep in mind with these, uh, Husky tends to change prices based on your color sometimes. Whereas Harbor Freight, at least my Harbor Freight here, they, it doesn't matter the color. I mean, sometimes they might run a, a special, but their kind of regular run of the mill price is the same, regardless of the color. Uh, they just happen to have the blue in stock today for me. So that's what I went with. A um, couple of things I notice on the Husky, and this is not the case on the 46, um, but you'll notice this has two slides on the upper drawer. All of your um, smaller drawers are gonna have the single slide, and these are all ball bearing. I think that's pretty standard nowadays. These bottom big drawers, we're back to a double, double slider here. And these do pretty much open all the way back. I do have uh, mats. Um, both of them come with the, the soft uh, inserts for the drawers. I just haven't put them in the Husky yet. These are a quiet close on the Husky, which is kind of nice. If we go over to the Yukon, not a quiet close necessarily. Um, the ball bearings actually seem to be, yeah, you know, not a quiet close on, on the Yukon there. Um, the ball bearings on the Husky actually seem to be a lot smoother. Um, some of that could be just because it's a, you know, it's a technically a higher, higher end workbench than the Yukon is. Although, guys, these were the same price. I spent the exact same 
on both of these, uh, which, man, hard to argue with the, uh, the price over here. So very, very, very happy with that. They both come with keys. Uh, honestly, the Yukon key, heck of a lot easier to get in there. Um, it is not a, it is a bi-directional key. You can stick it in either way. Um, and it will, so you can put it in that way. You can pull it out and flip it over and you can put it in that way. Still works. Um, these keys are actually kind of a, have this fun little fold over thing. That's probably just something that's going to break, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, over on the Husky, this key over here, um, they look like your standard kind of locker keys. Um, not super smooth. I mean, it's all right. I'm probably never going to lock them anyway. Um, not the smoothest thing. Quarter turn on the, on the Husky. Quarter turn to lock, unlock. Uh, a full half turn on the Yukon to lock and unlock. They both, I don't know if you can see down there, they both have the locking casters only on one, or excuse me, the swivel casters and also locking casters are only on one side. I don't know about you guys, I would love, especially on this, this bigger one here, I would love to see swivel casters on both sides. Uh, I'm not probably not going to be like mounting a bench grinder or anything to this. Uh, you know, I've got a vice for my wood projects. I've got a vice for my welding projects. So I'm not going to be clamping, you know, if this wiggles around a little bit, that's okay. I would love to see the swivel casters on both sides. I think that it is still standard. I think even on the big boxes, like the big like 72 inch, I think they're still putting a, a fixed casters, at least on one set is fixed casters. Um, those bigger boxes will sometimes have, uh, you know, two sets of the, cause they have, they'll have casters in the middle. They'll have two sets of the swivel ones is obviously you have to. Um, anyway, the finish, a little hard to see on this camera. Uh, the Husky color is actually, I think, a little bit nicer blue, kind of like a, a light navy. Uh, the Yukon is almost got kind of a, man, it is almost virgin on like purple, purple neon uh, in, in real life. I don't know if the, the camera really doesn't show that, but I don't know. It's kind of a, I don't know, nightlife bot color to this box. I don't know. It's, it's kind of a little different. Um, a couple other things. Uh, the Husky does come with a uh, power strip built in, which is kind of nice. The Yukon does not have anything like that. It is just straight straight sides there. No power strips built in. Uh, the Husky also has some nut certs back here. Um, I think so that you can put like a pegboard. I think they, they sell optional pegboards and things you can stick on it there. But you got that, excuse me, got that on both sides and on the back, even in the middle. There's a set of them there. So all in all, uh, like I said, meant to be a cobalt Yukon Husky head to head, but those, those cobalt boxes, they've got to be the same thing as Husky. They probably build them in the same factory, slap a different name on them. And I mean, they, the drawer layouts, the same, the feel of these handles, even down to these, the little black, uh, end inserts. I mean, those feel the same on the Husky and the Cobalt. The Cobalt's, at least in my area, are just significantly more expensive. The Yukon, 
and I'll have to double check my prices, but Yukon was, it's like 400 bucks if you don't catch it on a sale. I kind of wanted to get the video done and out, so I just paid the, the 400 bucks for it. The Husky on sale, uh, I paid the same. The original price on this Husky is I think 650, about 650 in this color at least. Again, they they change their price a little bit based on color. So anyway, we're gonna put them both through their paces, see how they see how they perform. You'll notice symmetrical drawers on the Yukon, asymmetric as far as you know, the bigger on the one side, smaller on the left side on the husky. One thing I will say, I a lot of these boxes, some of the bigger husky boxes, they have really, really, really shallow, super shallow drawers here. Those boxes, man, those drawers, maybe an inch and a half deep, which I don't really care for. You know, this is not a me mechanics. I've got another toolbox that I'm going to be using for that I already have. Um, I've got an old Craftsman actually from the 90s that I use for my automotive. Anyway, let me know what you guys want to see. And we'll see you on the next one.